How you going? Stay off grid here. Um, just putting together a little guitar uh, project. Um, I built, I've built a few guitars. I've not really built guitars, but bought kits where I've had to do the sanding and painting and all that. But this is a this one's already been painted and it's already been it's a it's a Warmoth guitar, W A R M O T H, and they're licensed Fender um guitar builders right so what i've got here all right so what i've got here is the neck have a look at that close it's got some really nice um wood finish on it and try and get all that nice little burling i think they call it on the guitar neck now these are jumbo frets uh 6050s i think it is yeah look at this color it's just beautiful now these gu guitars are not cheap um all the parts i've got for this are about two thousand dollars so if you see here warmoth now i've already put these locking tuners on they're um they're original fender locking tuners so basically you put your string through the hole and then you tighten this up and it pushes onto the string to hold it so you don't have to wind it on and do the you know it's easy to wind them on you just put it through lock it in and then then tune it up all right we'll get that out of the way we won't need that for a little bit so now this is the the body now it's a lot darker than what i thought when i looked at it on the internet so when there's a bit of light on it it's pretty good but yeah i really wasn't that happy with the color but anyway and you see here as well warmoth and it doesn't say license to offender there but it's got a a uh, shaler um, bridge on it here now the reason i like these is because it's They've got little roller wheels but also what you can do is you can just by rolling the wheel there's a little thread that it sits on so you can move them left or right to line up your strings properly which helps to if you don't get this perfect in the right position you can make it up you fix it up by changing those um i've got a the um jack i think that's um Oh, I don't know what it's called, black chrome or something like that, something similar to that. All right, now, so this is the pick guard, and it has Seymour Duncans. Um, they're both Seymour Duncans. One's a zebra, one's just black. Uh, also, what we have here is the controls. Is uh, made by. Uh, obsidian wire in new zealand and all the connections go into this little push push in pin thing now i already wired this but uh, you can't i won't be able to get just the the wires from the pickup you won't get them in there because they're stranded wires and they're too soft what you need is um uh, stuff like this which is this old school all right so i've got these wires here these are old school um you pull you pull the sheath back and the wire comes out and it's solid so it goes in there easy i'm gonna have to join that to the um pickups so what i'm using is these little fellas i've never used them but i'm going to try them and you just push the wires in and then you just heat it up and it melts this bit in the middle and it, that solders the wire for you i've got a soldering iron here gas one and there's the little connections and all my nuts and screws and things are in there and these are the um volume knobs so i like the look of them and my little gauge there if i want to measure anything i've managed to get all these into those terminals now i did have to solder them onto this old school wiring wire so that wire this wire it when you pull the insulation back if you can then the con conductor comes out. Now, so what I've been doing is then bending it 
because that, that holds the insulation in place and then putting it into the terminals. Now, would I buy these obsidian, what is it? Obsidian wire. Uh, would I buy these again? Um, I mean, they look fabulous. They work great. But really, they need a better terminal strip. They're that hard, even with these solid, stiff conductors. Like, if you if you just... These ones are stiff as, right? But if you just tinned normal wires, you won't get them in there. I've tried. These ones that are really stiff, they're a solid and tinned, I think, or whatever. They're really hard. Um... Even they they were really hard to get in. Now, and the thing is, is that I had to solder. The whole idea of having a terminal strip is that you don't have to solder. But I've had to solder here in all those little connections there. I've had to hold, solder all those wires to get them into that terminal. So, yeah, would I buy it again? Probably not if it's got the same put terminals. It's just not worth the stuff around. I may as well, if I'm going to solder all the connections here, I may as well just solder all the connections onto the onto the actual uh, pots so yeah I mean it's a yeah too much stuff around for me I'd maybe the guy's got a trick to doing it but like I've used a lot of push-in connections I'm an electrician by trade I've never had a problem with them but this one that brand whatever they are no good um, they're small yes but so hard to use it's unbelievable you have to be really really patient to get the wires in there Okay, so now what I've got to do is uh, connect these two um, shields. So they will connect to this here, which is going into underneath the uh, bridge to ground out the bridge. And also that will, that will go, they will also connect to this terminal down here, which is the ground terminal. So that's what I'll do next. Okay, so I've soldered together the, the uh, ground, our shields and ground there and then it's screwed into here plus I've put the jack connections in which they were really really hard to do so if you buy this obsidian wire um, setup that I've got you have to push down on the little thing that the screwdriver, the screwdriver pushes on got to push really 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 hard on it and then hope that they go in because it's really fiddly so anyway now I was gonna put some copper shield shielding tape in here so what I use normally I'll show you on another pick guard now if you look on the back you see all that copper tape I get that from Bunnings uh, there's no Bunnings where I live Carl. I've got to see if Mitre 10's got it but um what it is, you get it in the garden section, it's there for, you, you tape it, it's got sticky back, and you tape it around your garden edge, and snails won't go over it, they don't like it. Okay, so that's the guitar with the pick guard back on, all the electronics done, wired, everything, knobs back on, I'm missing a knob for that, I'll have to order one of them, I don't have one, and now I'll just bolt the neck on. Alright, so as you can see there, there's the warmer turtle playing the guitar and one with uh, by Fender licensing so that's gonna I'm gonna bolt up now now if you want to see what a good fitting neck is I mean it's hard to see on the, t on the screen or anything but with that neck in there you buy you buy lift up on the neck without without so there's no bolts in it I lift up on the neck And it just about, there you go, it was lifting, it was lifting up the body, so that's how tight the connection was. What I've got as well is a fender, um, well, I don't know what they're called, backing plate for the neck. And it's got a little rubber mount as well. Okay, so I have to put the strings on. First, I'm going to check neck relief. So I've got this um, neck relief tester. 
I've got to work out which one side's for a Gibson, I believe, and one side's for a Strat. So you just got to find the one that suits your guitar. Now, what I'm looking for is the gaps along here. And this is all pretty good because I did set it up before. All right, uh, having a better look at it without the camera, um, it probably needs a bit of uh, relief or a bit of tension, more tension actually. Um, but my, it's, it's an Allen key, so I'll show you on this guitar. Don't know if you can see in the dark there, but there's actually an Allen key there to do the neck. And it's pouring down rain. My Allen keys are in the, my shipping container, so I won't be doing that today. Nano, nano web coating and they're 46, no, 42.9, when, which won't make, give it the best sound, but they're a little light strings, so for me learning to get the guitar, I'm not a great guitarist, so I might be able to actually bend with these strings. I'll just put them on, I'd rather have um, 46.10, but I've got these here with me, so I'm putting them on. All right, so there's the guitar, the finished product. Uh, get a bit closer, we can see all the nice wood finish and maybe some oh you can see the color a bit better because the light of the light on it all right that's it i'm sarah off grid i hope you enjoyed that uh, video on the guitar build thank you very much